Hello, hello, crafty peeps. Welcome back to my channel, Crafty Ish Kristen. Today I'm going to be kitting up a painting for you. It is called Layers of Ocean Magic and it is by Calming Canvas Designs. Oops, that's not the right way. Smart, smart, smart. It's a little hard to see on um, the canvas because there are so many symbols, but this is going to look amazing. This is a photo of what it's going to look like. It has 59 colors and I will be using my Elizabeth Ward storage. So let's get this bad boy kitted up. I'm going to cut off this first number because it will just confuse me. And also it doesn't really fit on the Elizabeth Wards as nicely when you have that first number, especially on the, the smaller ones. So we will just take that off and then this one as well. I hope everyone is having an amazing day. And if you're not having an amazing day, I hope your day gets better. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What am I doing? Okay. I did. I organized a little bit before I started because these drills are, they come in multiple, like this is 154 and this is 154. And uh, I was a little confused. So I figured I should probably actually organize these before I start. So I'm going to do that. And I have my little kitten tissue napkin holder. This is Munchy Puddin Trashy Caddy. He's going to be helping me. And I have all my Elizabeth Wards like just without beyond my reach. Not the smartest thing to do. Uh, but yeah, so those are the 100. So I'm gonna move these so I actually have some room to work. Probably a good idea. All right, there are those. All right, that's a little better. Not, yeah, there are some really, really, really small bags in this kit, which is kind of making it a little confusing for me, I gotta say, but I can do it. I can make it work. I'm a big girl. I can do it. So now my only thing is like, how hmm, can I even, how many can I fit in a container? Because I've never used this company before and drills like this. Hmm. I'm gonna say this may not work in this container. I'm already failing, guys. Yep, I am. Okay, well, let's just finish dumping them all out. Okay, awesome. Winner, winner, chicken dinner already. So, we will upgrade that to the next biggest size. I have way more small ones than any other size because I bought one of the packs of just the small ones so if I if I run out of ones like this you know the bigger sizes then I will just use a bunch of small ones <laughs> that's just what's gonna have to happen I'm gonna put those over there so we'll try it for Oh yes, no, 154, definitely not going to fit in that one, but this 161 will. So let's do that one. Oh, gotta put them in my kitty. Meow. There you go, buddy. You're gonna have a big meal today. This is a lot of plastic. A lot. Put Mr. Lid back, oh, I gotta few stowaways right there. This is what, dear God, which one was this? That had to have been 161. Oh dear. Is it going to be one of those? I think it is. 154. So what size? Two of those fit in there. So I'm going to say maybe this size. And it sounds like somebody is mowing their yard. Awesome. Uh, 
patch. This is one fifty four. These are resin drills and all of calming canvas designs is canvases is you can't talk. All of their drills are resin for square and acrylic. Square and acrylic. Oh my gosh. Square and round. Square and round. And I was really intrigued because when I ordered, you can pick between multiple sizes for a lot of the canvases. Um, so, you know, depending on the image, you know, like you can choose. Like, okay, I want it in... Let's say I want it in 40 by 40, or I want it in 50 by 50, or I really like it and I want it in 60 by 60. So that's kind of, that's kind of nice because, you know, certain people might want, you know, a bigger canvas. Some people, oh, this has static. So no, 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 no. Certain people might want a size and other people might not want one that big. If this has static, this is just going to add a whole layer of confusion to this process already. I'm really hoping it's just maybe this color, right? It could just be one color that has static and not that, so not going to work. I don't know why I was even thinking I just cut that little amount off. All right. I should have cut it the other way, but I... Did not put my smart pants on today, guys. I did not. I put on my, put on my sassy pants, but those are all my pants. Every pair of pants I own is sassy. Okay, these, so smart way for these would probably be to cut along the narrower side, like that. They are a little jumpy though. I don't like that. Let me get my let me get my lunchbox with my kidding up supplies. Where is my bag of dryer sheets? I cut a bunch of them. Oh, here they are. Alright. Do, do, do. Okay. Move that. Alright. We are gonna. Put that in there. Okay. Just use your fingers. And that was 154. And I will erate, arrange, arrange these all at the end. Oh, yes, that was 154. Okay, so now we have the three hundreds. So that is the only bag of 310. That is amazing. <laughs> I don't, I mean, I like, I understand that the dark colors have a purpose, but that doesn't mean I like putting them down. Although I am working on my first kit with a bunch of lighter colors, like creams and stuff. And I will say, uh, they are definitely not as uh, forgiving with the multi-placing than I was anticipating. I'm going to have to step up my game and not be so impatient because they, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like looking at my lines and I'm like, whoa, you are not doing a good job. <laughs> But the drills are going in really nice. I mean, it's just, it's totally operator error on my part. Okay, these ones don't seem to be staticky, but I'm just going to put one in anyways. And what was that one? That was 355. There's that. Put that in my Kit Kat. So we have three one five with three bags, which means I, this might fit. We're gonna try it. 
Ugh. We're gonna try, although. Mm, no, we're not. No, we're not. Change my mind. I have a feeling I'm gonna be piecemealing a lot of these. For some reason, I thought a lot of these had smaller amounts when I opened them, but now, now I'm not so sure. Okay, why can't I get this out? I can't get that one out. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, that one's got a little bit of static in it. I see some sticky bits. Nope. Not too shabby daddy do. I've actually seen people use like specially made funnels and stuff for the Elizabeth Wards and the bottles. And they're kind of interesting. Oh, put a piece. Let's get a little static. I would be interested to try one, but you don't think about those things until you're, you know like in the middle of kidding something up and you're like, man, that would be convenient to have something like that. But let's see, 349. I bet these could fit in a little in a little fella. See, they don't they come out sometimes, but not always. Could I do four at once? We're gonna try. We're gonna try. Okay. Oh, I can feel the plastic trying to spring back on me. Come on. I see, I see some stragglers in there. Come on. Get out of there. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That I just, oh, yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of packaging for that tiny amount of drills. Like, I feel like that would be less cost effective for manufacturers who make the drills. You know, I'm not blaming the companies like, you know, who are selling the diamond paintings. They, if they want, you know, quality and whatnot, like they gotta, fortunately, they gotta take what they can get. And if the manufacturer wants to package something a certain way, well, then they're just gonna have to take it. But it just seems like this would be more waste or it would cost more to do things like this. But then again, plastic is, you know, probably cheap resource, even though it's absolutely horrible for our planet. And a lot of it can't actually be recycled. You know, in our regular recycling, we cannot recycle stuff like this. It doesn't work. It has to be very, very, very specific types of plastic. And it's not even like our recycling system doesn't even go by the numbers that they put, they put on the, the package. So that's nothing. That means absolutely nothing. So if I want to recycle like this stuff, I have to pay a, like a third party company to basically recycle, <laughs> which is nuts, but oops, I didn't put one in that one. Oh, I should. I can see, can you see that? It's like sticking to the sides. Ugh. Just calm down in there, guys. Just, I know I feel guilty with all the, the plastic waste and stuff. I don't work out of baggies, but when they come in baggies, at least, you know, they're, I actually can recycle baggies. But at least with the baggies, you know, they're not coming in, you know, like 12 different little plastic thingy my bobbers. Like that. That why why have that many drills in a bag? It just seems stupid. Stupid. Come on. Don't I am making a mess. Shocking. Nobody's shocked. Nobody's shocked. The fact that I'm making a mess. Okay. So this one, this was $4.98, $4.98, you go in there. Okay, we're on to the 500s. I bet this would fit in a little, 
the little one. So let's shake her, shake it. So I shake the entire table. That's fine. Oh, I think the cats are trying to knock something under the refrigerator. Every once, every few weeks, I gotta get out the little long handled stick and pull out all of the cat toys that they have managed to knock under the refrigerator. And they do it on purpose because I've, I've watched them purposely take them in the kitchen and then play with them right in front of the refrigerator and then shove them under there and then get mad because they're under there and they look at me like, come on, go get it. And it's like, no, I'm not going to get your stupid toy. You're the one who put it under there, not me. All right, so this one has three little ones and then that one has those. That's a red. I don't know what color that is, so it's just going in the going in the cat, guys. All right. Got that. This is 5.97. Five ninety seven. Don't let me forget five ninety seven. Five ninety seven. Okay. There's five ninety seven. And then five fifty. But this fit in a small one. We're gonna try. Cause that would be nice if it did fit in a small one. The more that I can get in the small ones, the better. There's that, there's that. Ooh, they are sticking to the, the side of that. And then these, oh, it may not fit. These may not fit. I'm hoping, but. Come on. Oh, I don't know. Might be a tight fit, but I might be able to get them in. Um, no, thank you, kitty. I don't need your services. Nope, nope. Oh my gosh, these. Yeah, that is maybe a no. There are some curved bottoms in this purple. I think that's just, I don't know, I feel like. Every painting I've done lately with um, resin drills have just have had so many curved bottoms. And I don't know exactly. I mean, I know it's something to do with like how they, how they do the whole process and all that stuff. But I mean, is it just like they're not, are the companies just like being impatient and like not letting it sit long enough? Or is it that they're not filling the molds full enough or what? Somebody let me know because I am curious. All right, so we have 601, 601, we have 640, 647, and then like, see, this is three packs of 642, but like, it looks like it's the same amount as that one bag. I don't know. This 647 should fit in a small one. You want a little piece of plastic? No, just kidding. Oh my gosh. I have a, I have a PR package uh, and it's his favorite kind of plastic packaging material. So I know as soon as I pull that out, to film it, he is going to be like, yes, this is just for me. Because he loves that kind of plastic wrapping. 
that it comes shipped in. I try to be nice and just let him have like a little chew on it and then well he did this this one that's on the table he he's not the chewer he's the licker so he will lick the plastic the other one is the is the chewer who likes to bite the plastics and leave teeth holes and all that stuff he's the one that chewed up my oh kitten tree canvas All right, yeah, so that's, that's barely any. 6.42. Right. Nope, I still see some in there. Come on. Just get those last few. Six. 42. No, 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 no. Don't knock over my light, please. Then I'll be in the dark. Okay, so we have 601, 601, and then this, that 602 should fit in a little one. Very similar to the last, the last one we just did. I am just making a mess. There's so many things that I probably should be doing right now, but I just don't want to. <laughs> it's like I should be trying to find my recipe for my my Thanksgiving side dish, but I'm like, eh, I think I know where it is. I mean, I pretty much know where it is. I just have to find it. I mean, I could probably make the yam sweet potato casserole without it because I've been making it for so many years. But still, in my brain, I still have to think to myself, mm, maybe double check just because. I don't want to ruin it by forgetting a very, very important ingredient. One year my my mother-in-law she made pies and she she used the wrong canister. Um, so they had a canister of salt and they had a canister of sugar. And uh, so people started eating the pie and you know people are trying to be nice. They're like it tastes kind of weird. And uh, that's when everybody she realized that Oh, I used the wrong one. So, check your sugars and your salts, guys. <coughs> don't want to have... Don't want to have something like that. Okay, I'm going to put that a little bit closer. There we go. Okay, seven hundreds. Where are the seven hundreds? I swear I saw... Oh, they're right in front of me. I knew they were right there, guys. I knew it. Seven twenty, so seven twenty one, seven. Those are slightly different colors, but not enough. But like these yellows, see some of these. These yellows are a little bit different because they probably came from different manufacturers. So that is a very, it's a good note to have. I mean, this is so confetti heavy that it ain't gonna matter. Um, but if you were doing color blocking, that, that definitely could make things look a little weird. I still have my strawberry shortcake uh, one from Diamond Art Club. It's just strawberry shortcake and her dog and like a butterfly. But I, well, it's around, and so that's I'm like, oh, I don't really know if I want to. I don't really, I'm not in the mood. I have to be in a very specific mood to work on a round diamond painting. And I have not been in a mood. Uh, but the whole background is all one color. It's all a light blue. And 
I just, it kind of frustrates me because it was the same with the square that I did as well. I mean, that one had a few colors in the background, but it was so much color blocking. And I'm like that, I mean, you could have had a simple background, you know, with like just some color differences, but it just, I don't know. I really was a little disappointed with the characters came out amazing. I mean, the characters were rendered really, really good. It's just the background just kind of ruined it for me. Because you want to be excited to work on your project, right? I mean, you're you're spending money, you're spending your free time on it. So if you're looking at something that you're working on and you're kind of filled with dread, you know, you're going to kind of not want to work on it. This canvas is going to be the complete opposite of, of color blocking, that's for sure, because this is pretty much confetti. There were some like confetti blocking areas. Whoa, that one went flying. But yeah, it's pretty, pretty darn confetti. So I may actually have to space this one out with one that's a little more solid. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see once I start working on it. 760. That can also go in a little one. And I did sign up to be an affiliate for Calming Canvas Designs. Uh, so if you are interested in trying them out, I do have a uh, referral link and I will put that in the description box and I do have a coupon code it will be listed also below um, if you use the affiliate link I think I get like a small commission or percentage or or something I don't really know how it works honestly um, which I will just spend on diamond paintings because <laughs> that's what I do but obviously no no pressure no pressure. And obviously, if there's a better coupon code or something, use that because coupons and discounts are amazing. So I always want people to use the best deal possible. Whoa, that one's trying to escape. I saw it. Okay, come on. These ones are a little jumpy, not too bad, but enough to be getting all over the dang place. So this is 803, and this is 803. Okay, 803. Hear my cat meowing upstairs. He wants attention. Meow, meow, meow. This is 807. Yeah, that's a little sticky in there. A little bit of the sticky, stickies. 807. Such. Oops, I am not putting these labels on straight. They are looking absolutely horrible. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine, guy. Oh, see, I didn't, I didn't spread them out. Luckily, these two 807s should fit. Should. Hopefully. Because I put the sticker on already. Come on. Oh, yes, maybe. Pack them down a little. There's one. Come on. Do, do, do. Come on. Get out of that little. Get out of the look. The nook. Get out of the nook. Okay, we have 838. Okay. There we go. Let's try not to screw things up. 
can't promise I'll try, but I'll try to try. There's the, ooh, that one came out so nicely. Still gonna put a little piece of drawer sheet in there though. Just because. Hopefully they, whoa, they calm down before I actually get to use it. Mm. I don't know. I don't think I've ever actually had a painting or a like a container of drills that were staticky that I've had a problem with when I actually started to go diamond paint with them. So I think the dryer sheets do work. 820. I don't know about anyone else, but I always have more trashy bits in like the blues like this and the browns um, than any other color. Like the blues and the browns for me are always trash central. And I'm not sure why. I mean, because if they're only allowed to use like the molds for a certain amount of times or there were, I read something that said that, but I don't know. I mean, I'm sure they'd be interesting to see, like, what's the, the breakdown of the colors, right? Like, so, how many, how many blacks did they make? How many, you know, 939s, how many this, how many that? It would be interesting to see with a lot of these diamond manufacturers like what are the most popular colors or the ones that are the most in demand because you always kind of feel like you know you get a lot of similar colors in a lot of paintings but then there's some where you're like I've never even oh, I've never even had this color yet This is really full and these are trying to escape. So we're going to put another one right on top and cross our fingers. Oops, I got some sneaky ones on my, the back of my finger. Nope, that one's trying to escape. Get in there. Nope. Okay, that was eight, two, three. Come on. These are definitely some symbols that I have not had, or I haven't had a lot of. So there will be a learning curve when I set them up and use them. I don't, I, I don't care if the symbols are kind of weird or whatever. I would rather have a bunch of like odd random symbols than a bunch of arrows and triangles that are like all going completely like different directions but in similar colors like that just that makes my brain hurt and want to explode so bad all right so we have nine we have several nine three nines we have nine four seven right there Nine, nine, six, four, nine, five, nine. I love those teals. Those are like my favorite teals. Sorry, I'm a little excited. A little excited, guys. Okay, those are all then single, single edge. Oh, oh, look at all those extra little one, oneers. So we'll pull you guys that way. So let's do 921. Put you guys right there. Oof. This is. Okay. Let me get the dryer sheet. 921. Nine twenty one. I'm just glad these are cut properly. Nothing worse when you get a kit like a kit and you're 
your sticker sheets were cut kind of wonky and so you're trying to piecemeal them like half half here half there let's not make it more difficult to to prep the diamonds and all that jazz 920 I knew it was 920 but I just wanted to double check Let's see, nine, four, five. Oh, my trash is trying to escape. Oh, that one went clear over there. Get back here. Okay. Dryer sheet in there. Go in there. And we have nine, four, five. There's that. Ow, I just realized that I've been sitting on my feet and now my feet are completely asleep. Nine, six, four. Beautiful color. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I wish there was more of them in this painting because it's such a pretty color. Oops, let's pull out some more, some more of the dryer sheets. What color did I say it was? Nine I just said it out loud. I think my brain could remember it, but nope, I can't. So we have these nine five nines. Whoa. There's that. Cut the top part. Go in there. Nope. Ooh, those are sticking in there. Come on. not throw the bags away until we've written that was a piece of trash until we have it on there come on Ooh, don't get all folded okay there's that we have nine two two i still have a lot of colors left dang it i thought i'm like full iron then i look over and i'm like good god there's so many bags of colors Come on. Oh, those are sticky. Sometimes it's just easier to dump them on the table and pick them up with your fingers. Okay, what color? 922. See, that's why I don't put them in there until I do the sticker. The exact reason why. Okay, 927. That will fit in a little one as well. There's still a few hangers on. Nine, two, seven. 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 Okay. Oh, what's that? Nine, four, seven. Do I have more? I feel them. I see them right there. I have a lot more of the little ones, so. Don't worry, guys. I'm not going to run out of little ones. Other sizes? Maybe. Little ones? Absolutely not. Okay. Come on. I feel like a, a clump in there. Oh, those are already popping out. No, it's not going to go nicely. I already know it's not going to go nicely. Wait. Nine, four, seven. Nine, four, seven. Nine, four, seven. There's that. 
And 970. See, like these are little amounts in big bags. Those ones definitely can go in a little one. Well, I shouldn't say definitely because then I just basically cursed myself to have them not fed. I'm hoping. They fit. That's barely, like, barely even half full. Put the dryer sheet. That was 970. Last 900 is 939. Those ones, I'm going to say maybe one of these. Maybe even the big boy. I don't know. We will try this one first. Then we will expand if necessary. But I think it might fit. Might. All right. Oh, that was not, that was dumb. That was really dumb. <sighs> it's fine. Okay. Let's see. Oh, that one certainly needs some dryer sheets. They are. Okay. Here. And trying to get them out of there. There's that. Do, 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 do. Okay, there's that. There's that. There's that. There's that. That big old. I think he should all fit. I think. They will. There's that. Why? Oh, because I barely cut that one. That's why they're not coming out of there. Hmm. Yep. I cut it, but clearly I did not. Those are those are bouncy. They are all over the place. Awesome. Get these two little nine three nines. Dumping them in the tray is any better, but that's what I'm doing. <sighs> okay. All right. Nope. They're still escaping. Get in there. Okay. They fit. If I fits, I sits. If I fits, I sits. Oh, we're up to the four-digit numbers. Those are my favorite numbers to do. Know that. Nope, they are not. Three o two two. There's. Probably will, yeah, no, this is going to air after Black Friday because, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's two days. It's like the day before Thanksgiving. But, so, if Diamond Art Club and these companies start releasing, like, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50, however many paintings, like, like you know, for the, for the special sale or whatever, I mean, do they just keep releasing new paintings the next week as well? I mean, don't... 
don't they think that like maybe people can't afford to purchase at that speed? I mean, because if people are, you know, buying paintings this week and this week and this week, I mean, or maybe they just have such a giant customer base that they just figure, well, people are going to buy what they want to buy. But I mean, I just, I don't know. I, I, I feel like people like practically bankrupt themselves, you know, buying... And it's not just like diamond paintings. I mean, it's any kind of craft or hobby or obsession, you want to say. But I don't know. I mean, I guess it's not really their problem, right? They're assuming that everyone's an adult and they can make, you know, their own decisions and they can be responsible. But some people can't be responsible with money. I mean, I know people who can't be responsible with money. I have, oh my God, I, oh, oh, I thought I literally just stumped over my Dr. Pepper. I would have probably cried. Okay, let's be responsible with our, where our body is, dummy. I mean, I've been irresponsible with money in the past, like, and gotten myself into debt. So, I mean, it's not like that anymore but I mean it's very very easy to self-medicate with you know spending money or you know whatever your whatever your vice is I guess I mean some people spend money you know some people smoke some people drink some people you know do drugs or you know take anxiety medicine if they're anxious or I mean everybody has their own their own vices but my fear is like, I just don't want to be spending every penny I get on craft supplies because I do want to, you know, I like, I like collecting things, uh, but eventually, you know, I'm going to need to retire or, you know, my kids might want to go to college, <laughs> something, or I might want to travel the world. And I just, I would hate to look back one day and be like, man, we never got to take that, you know, month long trip because, you know, I spent 30 grand on, on crafting supplies or whatever. Like, I mean, I don't know how much I spend, but still kind of makes you, I don't know. At least it makes me think maybe it doesn't make anybody else think. And maybe I'm just reading way too much into it. My underlying fear with buying a ton of diamond paintings and, and just, you know, crafting stuff in general is like, is it going to go bad before I'm able to use it? Because I mean, you can like, you know, you can buy pens, you can buy paints, you can buy all that stuff, but you know, eventually it goes bad. It's not going to stay good forever. And as much as these companies want to say, our glue never goes bad. Well, you've been around for like five years. So, I mean, you can say that our glue is never going to go bad, but how do you know that for sure? <laughs> you can't. So I would be pissed if I, you know, was like, okay, I'm going to buy all the diamond paintings. And, you know, then when I retire, I'll be set. And, and then open your stuff up and have it be complete garbage because it doesn't work. Or even worse don't want to do that hobby anymore because I mean I don't know about anybody else but I am a I'm a hobby jumper I have had lots of hobbies over the years and I've gone back to hobbies I've started new hobbies so I mean I, I can't say like well diamond painting is going to be the only hobby that I'm ever interested in ever again like mm, no I know my own personality. I know that's that's not going to be the case. I know I will be interested in other things, that I will want to try other things. So I can't I can't invest everything into one hobby and then, you know, twenty years later, not like it, or even like three years later. What if you don't like it? We all get burned out on things. What? Three seven zero five. I knew it was 3705, guys. I knew it. So, but 
that's just the stuff that my brain, my brain thinks about randomly. Like, okay. So we have three seven six five three seven five zero six six eight six eight. Okay, there we go. Let's do these little purples. Right. Swear, my mom keeps getting phone calls and they call at like 6 a.m., 7 a.m. And it's like a new, it's a new shtick every single time, right? But basically they're like, oh yes, I'm from, I'm from Medicare and we need to send you some new cards, but we need your information or this or that. And it just makes me so mad. And luckily she's you know, with it and she's not going to get sucked in and like give them her social security number or anything like that. But it just makes me so mad that there's people out there that do that because there are people who will, you know, think, oh my gosh, I didn't, had no idea that you needed my information. Let me give it to you. Like there was one time my husband's grandma got a call and she didn't live in the same state as everyone and or as the rest of the family. And she got a call and the person said, you know, grandma, it's me, you know, I'm in trouble. And I'm, you know, I, I went to Mexico with some friends. I didn't tell mom and dad. And, you know, I'm, I, I got, I got, we got arrested. There were, you know, there were drugs in the, in the car or something, but they weren't ours. And, you know, I need to get bailed out because they said like, if, you know, we don't do this, then, you know, we could be here for a month or something. And so they said, if we, you know, we pay the fee that we can just get out and they'll let us go back across the border or whatever, something, something along those lines. And his grandma believed it because the girl didn't say her name. She didn't say, you know, this is, you know, Mary or, you know, a name of a grandchild. She just said, grandma, it's me. And so she was trying to, she's like, okay, hang on. I need to make some calls. You know, can you call me back in like 10 minutes? And, you know, the girl's like, you know, yeah, but hurry, hurry, grandma. You know, like making grandma be all in a panic, thinking her sweet granddaughter is, you know, going to get taken advantage of in like a Mexican prison or something. And so she's trying to call, you know, the, the parents like to say, oh my God, did you know that blah, blah, blah went across the border and is in Mexico? And finally she got a hold of someone and they're like, no, she's at work. I talked to her this morning, like, you know, and that's when they kind of realized, oh wait, that was probably a scam. But I mean, that's just, oh, that just makes me so mad. It's like, I want to find those people and then just like beat them with a baseball bat. Like, you should be ashamed of yourself for trying to take advantage of anyone. But, I mean, especially the older people who might not be able to figure out that this is a scam. And if you don't know that your bank or, you know, Medicare or whatever won't actually call you, they'll just send you, you know a letter instead of, you know, calling you and asking you for information or your new or your address or, or whatever, there are people that, you know, will think like, oh yeah, I better, I better give them my information. And then you're screwed basically. It's just, mm. very frustrating. I don't, I don't like seeing people take, getting taken advantage of. And there's, and maybe there's all, I mean, there's always been people doing that, but I feel like in our, in our digital age, it's just so much easier. I mean, my credit card number has been stolen multiple times. It's super frustrating, but there's nothing. Oh, I just, did I really just put that in there? You know, but I mean, unless I just don't use my credit card ever, <laughs> which is not going to happen because, you know, you got to pay for things, but it's just it's so frustrating. just want to hit people with a hammer. But that's frowned upon, so I'm not supposed to do that. Uh, 
All right, I can see the finish line. I only have this little stack right there. <laughs> Skin close. Feel those tucked into that top corner. There we go. There's that. Two more. This one and this one. And there are lots of lots of extra stickers on this sticker set, which is nice, but I don't actually need them. But if I did, I do have a bunch of like extra sticker sheets in my little kidding up lunchbox. I'm like, at some point I'm going to have to take some out and just get rid of them because I'm never going to use them all up because most, most kits come with the stickers, but there, there could be some. All right. So we have three, eight, three, five, this pretty greeny teal. 3810, got those ones, 3814, those, those, those. Okay, so this one right here, 3854, that one will definitely fit into a little one. And then we will re we'll actually organize these diamonds so. They look pretty in the cases and the tray. Let's put a little dryer sheet in that one. Three, eight, five, four. Three, eight, five, four. Oh my gosh, I'm ruining the ones above and below it, but. Okay, Oop, that one's trying to hold on to me for dear life. Three, eight, oh, five. Oh my gosh, my phone is on low power mode now. Now it's go time, guys. This is when I'm gonna get messy. I swear, I deleted a ton of stuff from my phone and yet I still feel like it's constantly low powering me. Like it's so rude, so incredibly rude. All right, three, eight, two, three. There's that. Go in there. Oh, popping out of my cat. And if you're curious where I got my, my trashy pudding munchy cat, Amazon. Google cat tissue holder or cat napkin holder, and he should pop right up. But beware that these ears are supposed to come out. So I used some nano tape on the back sides of him to hold them in because every time I would tip him, his ears would plonk out and I was worried his ears would break. And we do not need broken ears. That would just be sad. I actually want to get him a little, was Googled uh, cat hats, right? Cause I feel like he needs a hat, but the problem is he has no neck cause he's just kind of like a tube. Um, so, you know, you Google things like cat hat and then you get a bunch of costumes for cats. And then of course I was like, my God, I need costumes for my cats. Even though there's no way my cats would ever let me put a costume on them. Um, but then Facebook ads, man, Facebook ads popped up a cowboy hat for cats, um, that lit up. It had like LED lights that looked kind of like old fashioned neon around the brim of the hat and all that stuff. My God, I, it, it took all of my willpower. Oh, stupid not to order it because like realistically is my cat going to let me put that on him no and there's a good chance it wouldn't work properly anyways but man i wanted it and then of course you know then you look at one one ad for something 
then you get the ads for then I get lots of cat and animal ooh, costumes and stuff like that so never click on ads because then you're gonna be seeing ads for that kind of crap for a while I made the mistake of clicking on like a like a sports bra or it was like I don't know remember what the name of the, the brand of it was but it was supposed to be like the most comfortable bra ever and I'm like well I want that obviously uh, so clicked on it well then for the next month every one of my ads was bras and you know I clicked on an ad for the most comfortable bra in the world well then they decided that I obviously wanted to look at bras that were clearly not designed for comfort they were designed for the person you're with who wants to see the bra <laughs> and I'm like that is not no it's like I don't need to see bras where my my kibbles and my bits are going to be showing I mean I think of a bra as something to cover everything not to make it poke out of openings and you know that kind of thing but that's just me <laughs> I'm no fun, so what do I know, right? Um, that is not gonna fit. I'm not even gonna try. So then I was just getting bra ads, like nonstop bra ads. And I'm like, I don't like I don't really want to buy bras online. I just clicked on one ad, and so you know, then I'm getting bras, you know, that are like, you know, slutty bras, and then I'm getting bras like for for big busted women and then I'm getting bras for little busted women and I'm like okay yeah you can be done with the bra ads now like I didn't buy anything so move on please and I kept clicking on the little things like you know I don't want to see this or this is inappropriate or I'm not interested and it was like it did nothing <laughs> like I'm so sick of seeing women in bras on my Facebook feed like like, this is why people don't like Facebook. This is the exact reason. Because you basically get, like, assaulted with crap that you don't want to see. Ah! My trash. I'm trying to go fast, guys. I'm trying. I'm really... I don't want my phone to die on me. Because I'm so close. So close. Oh my gosh, of course, the static is going to be bad on these last ones because why wouldn't it be why wouldn't it be okay where's my dryer sheets okay my, my cat is full of garbage he is a full little kitty okay this is not yeah this is like the most static that the whole stupid thing has had all over my lap. Um, I don't know if they have a missing diamonds or diamond run out of protection. I don't know. I should look that up. That would be good to know. Because I am a dropper. I fully admit that I'm a dropper. But I'm also really picky too about the diamonds that I use. Because I'm not going to use a bunch of like tabby diamonds or crappy diamonds like just because I'm like oh no I'm gonna run out it's like well no if I'm paying you know 50 bucks for a kit my diamonds better be you know I better have enough or if I run out then I better be getting some more <laughs> but that's just me okay come on it's like go in that little mm. okay what Treatment. whoa wait a minute what color was that Three, eight, three, five. Okay. That makes sense. All right. Last one, guys. Last one. Will that fit in a little one? I think it might. Okay. Mm, maybe. Maybe. Let's put a dryer sheet in there. Come on, guys. Let's finish strong. Let's finish without making a mess. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Okay, I saw one. And then these. And then we'll get those organized. There's that. Okay. Come on. 
All right. There's that. Put another one of those in there because I can just, I can sense that they're trying to plan their escape. And I am not about to have that on my conscience. Absolutely not. Okay. Move. Move, cat. Okay. Blech. Okay. Here we go. Thanks. Oh my gosh. Never said I was efficient. Okay, so we have letters. We have a lot of symbols in this one. QRST, we have symbol. We have, let's see, we'll just put arrow there. Here's letters. Dollar, dollar sign could go with letters. Symbols, let's see, number. Symbol, symbol, oh dear. That's kind of like an L. We'll just put that with letters. Symbol, symbol, symbol. Oh my gosh. This is going to be interesting, guys. J. Um, and I'm trying to rush, which is not going to be good for anybody. D. Person symbol, percentage symbol. E, F, J, K, symbol, symbol, holy crap, that's a lot of freaking symbols. G, F, E, F, G, oh my gosh, square, I already know what that is. These are some interesting symbols, I will say. Three, oh look. I recognize that. Um, R, Q, R, S, T, number nine. Symbol, symbol. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of symbols. <sighs> okay. Wow, that's so, okay, E, F, G, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, S, T, U, V, and then we have numbers, so we have two, three, four, nine, okay, now, what, I guess we'll do, gosh I don't even know I don't even know with these symbols honestly these are hmm all right we are going to we're just going to put them in color order so I'm going to start with pink because pink is my favorite color and then we're gonna go to reds oops that's a pink because if the symbol is that color right then in theory I should be able to tell and I may have to change it but for now that's what we're doing because it's the final countdown so oranges yellows that's kind of a white those look kind of green kind of I don't know kind of green Green. That's kind of a greeny blue. Oops, there was an orange. I knew I was gonna miss one. Put that right there. Put that right there. Uh, green blues. 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 That's navy. Oh, that's green. Oh. There, blue. That's kind of a green too. Dang it. Seriously, people. Greens. Greeny blue, greeny blue, green. There's that. that. Let's do the purple, purple, purpley, 
purpley purple. Uh, oh, that's navy blue. Navy blue. Oops. Nope. Navy blue. Well, no. Let's see that. Because this, probably since it's a bigger container, it's going to be used more. We'll put that there. Okay. All right. That is not a perfect solution by any means. Uh, but they are here. And once I start diamond painting, hopefully then I can, you know, rearrange and make things make sense because uh, I don't really know how to make sense of these symbols when my phone battery is literally ticking down like a bomb. So that is it. Kidding up my first calming canvas designs. If you guys are interested, go check them out. I will have a link below. Like I said, I am an affiliate and I will earn a small commission, which I will just spend on diamond paintings, but no no pressure. Um, and you know, if there's a coupon code that's better than the coupon code that I have listed, use that. Save your money because we all need to save money in this economy, if you know what I mean. So until next time, big awkward hugs. Bye guys.